Hello and welcome to ITW 2019. I'm here with Andrew Kwok and he is the CEO of HGC Global Communications. So my first question, Andrew, is what do you see as the impact of 5G in the fourth industrial revolution? Basically, 5G, uh, I consider inside the fourth industrial revolution is an enabler. So, uh, of course, 5G is great, okay? But having said that, uh, there's an ecosystem so that we can plug in the 5G as an enabler to make everything successful. My last sentence, my last comment on the fourth industrial revolution is the actually a change of lifestyle. Okay, and uh, with the launch of 5G, uh, what will be the opportunity and the challenges that are presented to the industry? So basically, I think uh, if you're talking about our telecom industry, uh, you take a look at the 5G and also the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, what I can say is that uh, the syndrome is the globalization, personalization, segmentation, and also the digitalization. So all these kind of four characteristics we can find in the fourth industrial revolution. And to a telecom operator, no matter it is mobile telecom operator, fixed line, or even the so-called OTT operator, I think that is a several layer. So basically, the fixed line operator will be providing fundamental, the basic infrastructure, because every mobile operation, or mobile network, they need a fixed line. Okay? The mobile operator is the one who enables the access to the customer, and a lot of application provider, the ODT, the service provider, they're really putting up the services so this form a very tight ecosystem. And uh, how will smart city development around the world be impacted by 5G? In the future for 5G, it's machine to machine. So basically, 5G will enable the speed, the coverage, and also the latency, and also the interaction between the machine. So this is what 5G can contribute to a smart city. Great. And um, how do you see the SDN, API and OTT markets being impacted by uh, HGC's operations around the world? Have you got any kind of case studies that you would like to share with us? Okay, thanks, uh, Lawrence. Uh, first one, you asked about the SDN. So basically, uh, in the past, uh, SDN to a telecom operator is a kind of, uh, in the phase one, is a kind of uh, cost saving, uplift of efficiency and all that. So it is more internal, okay? So having said that, we also foresee that the SDN will give our customer a better interaction in which we are including them in a software-defined network in which we can provide a better service to them, but more than that, the user, the end user, no matter your carrier, corporate customer, OTT or whatsoever, they can make use of the software and also the software defined network to interact with the supplier and the both sides will work more efficient. So this is what SDN to us. So not to mention the uh, another topic is the SDN, which is another, another, another uh, benefit that we bring into the industry. When you talk about the API, is your second, uh, uh, second item, second question that you ask. For API, again, in the past, we consider API is another way for us to interconnect, for us to offer something in a more simple way to inter interact with other supplier, other operator. But we also see that, uh, just like our API uh, hub, uh, other than to interact, we are actually providing another kind of service to our corporate customer, to our service provider, in which they can make full use of it, not only on the index, but actually to launch service in the telecom arena. The last one you talk about is the OTT. So basically, OTT now, the terms is a little bit uh, 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 awake already. Who is OTT and who is not OTT? Basically, if I put up an example, one of the... Uh, uh, cable TV operator, and also uh, over-the-air distributor, I mean content distributor. So in a traditional way, they launch the service in this way. 
But once the telecom operator like ourselves, with IDC, with SDN, with API and all that, they are evolving themselves into a kind of OTT, uh, 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 or may not be full-fledged OTT, but a semi-OTT kind of services. So when you talk about OTT, OTT will greatly benefit from the fourth industrial revolution, not mainly on the technology, but to cope with the lifestyle changes for the people around the world. That's great. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Great. So uh, thank you for joining us on the ITW channel and the Capacity TV channel. Um, if you want to keep up with our content, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, we look forward to bringing you more videos in the future. Thank and you very also, much. Oh. Look at the agc.com.hk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Thank you very much. Thanks Bye. a lot, Lawrence. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.